guys, thanks for joining me again. So today I really wanted to have a look at some wine preservers and one such wine preserver I sort of wanted to tell you guys about and let you know how it held up is this little champagne stopper here. So I, this is a red sparkly wine from Italy, it's Fernaccio di Sera Petrona and I opened it about five or six days ago now and I really want to just have a look and see how it held up with this stopper and then I'll show you how it, uh, how it works. So first to open it we just oof, oof, pop that off already just based on that pop looks really good. Let's see how the sparkling held up. Okay so here we still have some bubbles. It definitely isn't the same that it was when I first poured it. Uh, if you had seen how it was when I first poured it, it actually got like a froth on top. It was quite bubbly. Um, this time it didn't have as much froth on top, but I do still see the bubbles coming up. Um, a little bit flatter than the original. Oh, okay, but, but flavor-wise, the flavor-wise actually held really good. Definitely like the definite character of the flavor is still there. And on the mouth you actually can still feel that sparkling. You can feel the bubbles. It just is not as visually bubbly. So like I said, it's been about five days now that I've had this closed up. So I would say this can hold pretty well. I would probably say if I waited another day or two, this might not have much more bubble to it, but already just six days with a sparkling is actually really great. Um, so I want to show you how this little stopper works. It's a little bit better than some of the other ones I've had. So it actually has double wings to close, and each of these actually has a little, can't really see it, a little lip here. And how it works is you, you put the white spot, there's like a little bump, you put it on, and you're going to want to push down pressure while putting those wings in and then letting go. And the little lip actually catches on that edge of the bottle, that neck of the bottle, and so it holds the pressure in. Uh, and then as I showed you before to open it, you're just going to open those wings up and boom, it'll pop out. So that is how the champagne stopper works. Uh, I am going to link this specific one I got down below because I think this is a lot better than some of the standard ones I've had before, uh, especially because it has that extra pressure to it. Um, and like I said, it's really kept this wine quite nicely for a few days. So definitely check that out if you are a sparkling wine fan and you want something to hold your wine for a little bit longer once it's been opened. Alright, enjoy!